So welcome back to the shop this week. So last week we did a pallet upscale challenge using pallet wood. If you haven't seen the video, you can click right here to see the video and check it out so you have an idea of what we're talking about today. It was a lot of fun. It was a challenge put on by Sterling Davis, which is a great challenge to actually use material to change something into another thing. It was really great. So pre-warning, I did not steal that pallet out of the trash can. That pallet, I placed it in the trash can and then shot the video. It was just a fun clip to do. I thought it was a creative way to do it. Check out the video here though. So it was a lot of fun. It challenged me drastically because I'm not used to working with material out of pallet wood. I know some of you guys are. You use it all the time, which is great. Your projects come out unbelievable. But I typically use like the material back here that you see. It's all kiln dry. It's all size to different thicknesses that I'm looking for. And that's typically what I do on my projects. And the cool thing about the pallet is I, ha I only wanted to use one pallet. I used one pallet and I had to come up with a project that utilized the wood the best I could without ordering more wood. Typically I design the project then I order the wood according to the project. And this way it was the other way around. I had the wood and I had to think of something that came up with it. It was a lot of fun. But my tip this week is actually talking about glue, especially what glue we use in different situations. So this week I ended up using this stuff right here, Type Mon 3. I love this stuff. This stuff is waterproof. It's interior, exterior grade, which is great. If it's gonna have any contact with water, this is the stuff to use. This stuff is food safe, so that's great for all your cutting boards. This is the material you wanna be using all your, you're gluing up your cutting boards if that's what you're doing. This stuff I use all the time, maybe about 50%. And the other 50% that I use is you gotta go with the classic. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with regular type on original. I mean, you can't go wrong. Extra strength, interior use only, just because you, you don't wanna have contact with water with it. You wanna keep the water away from this glue. It holds up, I know, but it's still not wise to do. Over long-term water use, this stuff does fall apart in water versus this stuff doesn't. I've done tests, it holds up really well. Water, just think water, no water. Water, no water. Pretty simple. It says it right on, right, on the, right on the bottle. So just do a little reading and you'll be safe. So that's my tip for this week. For you guys, I hope you enjoy the tip. I hope that helps you out in your... I keep hearing that silly bird. I don't know where it is. I gotta find that bird. You know what? That gives me an idea for this week's project. I gotta find that bird though. Oh. Thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks.